Uh, so, uh, in the uh, last lab, uh, I, I demonstrated you a uh, sample circuit of uh, how to write in a Verilog, uh, implement it in uh, Xilinx and then uh, create a test bench and uh, test for the various uh, input uh, conditions, right? Uh, so, uh, today we are going to uh, do something uh, similar, uh, but the approach, the modeling approach is going to be a data flow level uh, modeling, right? So, in the last class, this is what uh, we did, right? We uh, defined uh, ga uh, gates, uh, we defined an uh, inputs ABC, uh, we defined a wire, uh, we defined uh, two outputs. Okay, so uh, this is known as a gate level modeling. And that means when I am uh, writing a uh, program, uh, I am uh, specifying uh, uh, what are the uh, kind of gates uh, needs to be uh, implemented. So this is known as a gate level uh, modeling. Okay, uh, what we are, uh, so th this was the uh, code which we uh, wrote, right? Uh, input A, B, C, output and then uh, in intermediate we needed one wire. So, we uh, declared a wire uh, and then uh, we uh, declared these three gates, uh, G1, G2, G3 and uh, specified what are the inputs and uh, outputs. Okay, so this is known as uh, gate level uh, modeling. Uh, what we are going to uh, do, uh, so these are various, uh, we will say design uh, levels, you can do at, at the transistor level itself, you can, which is full custom, wherein you decide uh, how the transistors are going to be uh, interconnected, okay, uh, so so uh, that is done in, in, in an uh, 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 EDA tool like uh, uh, cadence, right, where for right from the scratch you start. Then uh, you can uh, have a, a gate level modeling, which is what uh, uh, we did uh, last time, where we decided what are the uh, kind of gates. Uh, we, uh, then and, uh, today we are going to see uh, uh, data flow uh, uh, modeling, uh, how it is done. Okay, it is it is slightly higher, where uh, you don't uh, specify what are the gates. Uh, you let the uh, compiler decide uh, uh, what should be the gates. Uh, you just uh, tell what you require. Uh, as as far as the uh, data is required, right? Uh, you can go uh, one level further up and even define the uh, behavior of the circuit. Okay, uh, so this is another higher level. So we will see that uh, later on. Okay, we saw gate level. Uh, today we are going to see uh, data uh, level. Okay, so just to uh, see, uh, give you an, 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 a slight more uh, insight. I have put these uh, few slides out here. Uh, so if I have to uh, an, implement a say uh, full adder. Uh, so if I do it a transistor level design, uh, I can choose a very very optimized uh, uh, design, right? I can go to the this is the smallest building block will be a transistor. So I can use 28 uh, just 28 transistors and uh, accordingly uh, size them and get the optimum uh, performance out here. So this is uh, designing a circuit using with the uh, transistors performance wise it will be the uh, best one right uh, but if you don't have uh, that kind of an uh, uh, time and uh, resources uh, also so layout also you can uh, create an uh, layout for these also like this right in here. so now in, in gate level uh, we just uh, uh, do it along with the with the uh, gates okay so now if you see uh, the total number of transistors which will be required here because these are the standard cells uh, so you pull these transistors from the library and do an interconnection and you implement this is known as uh, 34 uh, transistor here you are specifying what is the uh, gates okay uh, so this is slightly uh, inefficient but it, it is an uh, uh, no, uh, uh, it, it is much uh, slightly easier than the previous one. Okay, so it is a uh, time saving. Uh, now you can go uh, one more level up where you just uh, define the uh, equation. Okay, Boolean expression. Okay, you are and let the software uh, uh, decide uh, how it wants to implement. So the software might use only the universal gates to implement it. So uh, uh, it could uh, implement it like this, right? So the number of transistors will go further high up. Uh, but um, I am not even bothered about uh, what kind of gates needs to be uh, used. I am just and uh, I will just write the. Uh, a boolean expression which needs to be uh, implemented and that is known as data flow uh, design so we are going to uh, see this uh, today right uh, so, uh, so so the same uh, program which we did uh, uh, last time uh, if i have to uh, implement it now right and uh, i write and uh, assign uh, y is equal to uh, right an uh, uh, inversion of uh, c and then uh, assign uh, x is equal to uh, a and b uh, or y so you have to uh, know uh, these uh, 
an uh, operators of uh, Verilog. So you can download there are um, uh, many uh, books available or in the net even otherwise uh, the uh, operators are available. So once you know these operators, uh, you have to know. So this is the uh, format of. So you will write just uh, two uh, line in two lines. The program is over, right? You are just uh, specifying uh, y is equal to not c and x is equal to uh, a and b. Uh, or C, right? So this becomes a uh, pretty uh, simple out here, right? So this is known as uh, data uh, flow modeling. So these are some of the um, operators, uh, like uh, this is a negation of a bit. This is a uh, bitwise and, uh, like uh, here we are talking about a uh, single uh, uh, bit data A, B, C. Uh, but a, a could be a 4-bit data, B could be 4-bit data, that we will see in the uh, next class. Uh, so, uh, once uh, I do an AND operation, uh, each corresponding bit wise, uh, it will do an uh, AND operation. Uh, this is NAND, okay, uh, uh, li li likewise all these you know, uh, exclusive OR, uh, exclusive OR, exclusive NOR, so all these operators are uh, available in the uh, very log uh, uh, so, uh, library. You can uh, go and have a, a look at all this. You can download this particular uh, operator uh, list itself. Right? Uh, so, uh, what uh, we need to do is uh, for our uh, assignment, uh, we need to make a uh, half adder in the data flow uh, modeling. Right? So we are not going to define the gates. We are just going to uh, write the uh, sum is actually uh, a x or uh, b right and and carries a and b so this is an, a small program which you can do with the uh, data uh, flow uh, modeling right uh, so uh, okay uh, that's all uh, uh, this we'll discuss in the next class so let me uh, demonstrate it to you a uh, few things Yeah, uh, uh, in, in the last uh, class, what we did was we uh, created a folder called Lab 1 on the desktop and then uh, we uh, uh, initiated this project navigator and, and then uh, we had opened an, uh, a new uh, project, right, which was uh, like a file. Now we are going to just uh, open that again and uh, uh, we start from there. So uh, open uh, uh, project, uh, so uh, Lab 1, so we open that. Right and and lab one was the uh, no, uh, this thing which we made out here, so uh, this was the uh, no, uh, program which we had uh, written, a small uh, program. <coughs> so uh, this was like uh, A B uh, C, uh, Y and X, and then uh, we did the uh, gate level modeling uh, where we defined uh, uh, one gate. We also defined one wire and then uh, wire. Uh, one was uh, and of a and b and, and uh, uh, y was uh, uh, th that was one of the outputs which was not of c and and gate 3 uh, we used an, uh, another or gate so uh, this was the uh, no, schematic uh, uh, this was the small uh, gate level modeling problem which uh, we did right so now after that uh, what we did was uh, we uh, clicked on uh, simulation so uh, once you uh, click on uh, simulation right and uh, uh, you have an uh, 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 we did a uh, behavioral uh, check and then uh, we did that right and uh, uh, right so so uh, we got uh, this kind of an uh, uh, waveforms uh, actually uh, what we did was uh, even after that uh, if I uh, remember uh, correctly uh, we also uh, no, uh, made a uh, test program uh, we wrote a uh, test also right so uh, this was the uh, no, test for it where we uh, inserted few uh, no, uh, test conditions okay uh, so this we did uh, for a gate level uh, modeling uh, what uh, we didn't see last time was uh, we did everything through the simulation uh, tab out here if you go to the implement uh, tab out here okay uh, so there is one uh, implement tab and then uh, you have uh, create a schematic uh, schematic options uh, so uh, if you uh, do that right now uh, it says uh, there is an uh, some error oh, okay uh, sorry you need to first uh, synthesize it so you have it uh, now uh, initially uh, what did in the last class we did the simulation thing now uh, implement okay uh, implement we do the uh, synthesis okay uh, synthesis so we are going to uh, click on that uh, rerun all So it would take an, uh, maybe a minute to finish the uh, synthesis. Uh, so uh, it says the process synthesis has been uh, completed. No. So after having uh, done that, uh, I have an option of view the RTL uh, schematic. 
so i i click there uh, it says an uh, okay uh, now uh, this is the uh, sample program which we had written the very log one uh, not the uh, not the test one this is the basic very log code which we had written so i add it comes out here and uh, create schematic so this is the uh, schematic uh, which has been uh, synthesized okay I, what i have done i have written an isa level program uh, na, where there were three inputs and two outputs and and uh, na, i did a test simulation and then now i did a synthesis uh, and once i do the synthesis i'll see what the software has uh, how the uh, software has made the circuit so initially at, from the top level it is just a block i have a b c and x and y uh, two outputs if i uh, double click it i can uh, go into that right so this is what we wrote right now we did an and operation of a and b uh, and then we did a not operation of c and we got it out out here uh, so uh, only thing is uh, uh, what it has put two knots here uh, we had taken this uh, 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 in, in the program we had written why we have placed it here but uh, what this has done is uh, in the synthesis it has put an independent inverter to the input um, otherwise the function remains the uh, same right this is the exact function which we require so it uh, the way we have uh, modeled it it is uh, almost similar thing has been been uh, synthesized okay so this is how you go to the like initially we do uh, in the simulation you write a program create a test bench uh, go to the simulation tab and uh, do the simulation behavior right if you want to see uh, how that has got implemented i click back the uh, implementation tab uh, and then uh, i have synthesis here and after synthesis i uh, click the uh, view rtl schematic so this is the uh, schematic which has been uh, synthesized okay okay uh, also uh, before i do the synthesis i have certain uh, settings available uh, if i uh, uh, go to the process and then select process properties you will see here uh, optimization board uh, uh, goal right either you can uh, optimize the circuit for speed or you can optimize it for uh, area uh, simulation uh, optimization effort uh, whether it is fast or high so uh, power uh, you want to reduce the power or you don't want to reduce the power so these are uh, some of the like when we uh, study the architecture uh, later on we will see that and uh, so these are the kind of uh, uh, optimization techniques are there which this will take care of so depending on what we actually require we need to uh, declare that for such small circuits and uh, it won't make much of a difference but in, in bigger circuits uh, you can always uh, uh, speed and area they could be a compromise between uh, those two uh, similarly right and if power is the target and then uh, you, you know it might come up with an uh, low power design so this this option is also uh, available okay uh, now what uh, today what uh, we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, now <coughs> make a new uh, source right and then we are going to do uh, data uh, na, modeling right uh, we are going to write the same program uh, in for in the last class we did gate level modeling uh, and and this time we are going to do the same program we are going to uh, write it in data flow modeling so let me uh, give the uh, name as an uh, sample to uh, and and uh, again okay it is a very log module uh, so uh, next and uh, i am giving the uh, same uh, inputs uh, here uh, a uh, b and c and uh, there were uh, two outputs right and uh, x uh, and uh, y right so let me uh, change these two outputs uh, these two the outputs next okay yeah uh, now uh, what i'm going to do is uh, i'm not going to define uh, any gates and or nothing like that uh, i'm going to write assign uh, y is equal to not of c and assign uh, x is equal to uh, a and b uh, or y okay uh, th these have to be a uh, capital since uh, i have declared here everything as capital so let me uh, put this in the Mm, capital okay uh, so if you see here now in the last class we saw um, how uh, we required uh, four or uh, five lines to write the same uh, program where we specified what are the gates we want 
uh, here we are not uh, we are letting the program to decide what kind of gates it wants to use uh, we are only uh, saying uh, this is what we require the final uh, boolean expressions what we want uh, we have declared that we have not even bothered to uh, insert a wire or something so that is not required final outputs itself directly uh, i have uh, written out here so you see there is an uh, advantage out here in this uh, model right so uh, once i uh, do that uh, now uh, sample 2 uh, i can uh, do the uh, same thing right now uh, i go to uh, simulation right i can uh, do a uh, behavioral check so if there is an uh, issue uh, though so there is no issue uh, so i can do an uh, behavioral check also out here right now so uh, i see this uh, waveforms are uh, available out here no uh, it is uh, something else has run so i need to add uh, sample 2 okay uh, i got to uh, run this <coughs> that was the uh, earlier one okay uh, this is the uh, sample to uh, like like we got uh, last we got the initial conditions uh, everything is uh, uh, high impedance so we can do a uh, force constant method uh, we can uh, give <coughs> some values to the uh, input uh, force constant okay uh, value of zero and uh, force constant and <coughs> one okay and then I uh, run it. So, uh, depending on these inputs, you will see uh, X and Y. So, okay, you can verify this uh, like we did in the uh, last time. Okay. So, uh, this can be done. Mm. Uh, we can also, uh, this was the uh, data flow modeling, right? Even for the data flow modeling, uh, we can write an uh, uh, test bench. So, uh, what I do is uh, uh, new source. <coughs> right uh, and now uh, i write it as okay uh, test 2 initially i had made a uh, uh, sample test so uh, this is the test 2 very log test fixture uh, next okay uh, this was the uh, last time this was the uh, test fixture we made based on uh, this particular module and uh, now i am going to make a test module for this module so i have uh, selected sample 2 right next i do finish here right uh, so i have again the test module coming out here so one one set of conditions is already there uh, so i copy this entire thing uh, paste it out here right okay uh, uh, so i am pasting it uh, out here right uh, and i'm changing some condition out here i can uh, put it as one and instead of uh, waiting for nanosecond uh, 10 100 nano let me wait only for 10 nanosecond and then start with the uh, next uh, simulation uh, so let me uh, put it in a 10 out here then uh, let me uh, copy this uh, put it here right and then uh, put one more condition so uh, with three there are uh, eight different possible combinations so i am just putting three uh, you can uh, uh, put uh, all the uh, required one uh, and then uh, uh, to uh, stop it okay so uh, after these conditions uh, uh, i'll wait for 10 nanosecond and then uh, i write uh, dollar uh, finish so that uh, otherwise the uh, default is one micro so it will keep running for one micro so uh, i am writing uh, dollar uh, 10 right so uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, test 2 right this is the uh, test 2 uh, so uh, let me uh, run a uh, behavioral check first to see that all the syntax is uh, okay with this if there is an issue no there is no problem with the syntax and uh, i do the uh, behavioral check right uh, so uh, i get uh, this waveform uh, so this is the last uh, waveform uh, 
um, but if I do this, I'll get all this. So uh, I have to get press this, right? So I, I have given only uh, three set of conditions. You can give all the eight different condition. So you can verify for all these things whether you know, we are getting the uh, desired results in X and Y. Okay, you can uh, verify that yourself, right? Uh, so now this is what this is. We have not in this particular program. Uh, we have not defined any gates and all. We have done just the data model. That we have given the Boolean expressions for the output X and Y, and the uh, the uh, software has uh, on its own, na, right? Na, uh, created the required na, uh, uh, na, um, hardware, and it, this is the simulation results uh, from that.